considering buying a new laptop in 2024. Why not give the Galaxy Book 3 Pro a chance? Especially now since uh, Samsung has some really nice discounts on the Galaxy Book 3 line and perhaps because there is a new Galaxy Book 4 coming just around the corner. I've had my Galaxy Book 3 Pro for about seven months and if there wasn't for two things I would give it 10 out of 10. Cheers from Sweden and welcome to my channel. I post videos about being productive on your Samsung devices, so if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe for more. I've edited thousands of wedding photos in Lightroom using the Galaxy Book 3 Pro, and I've also edited a somewhat smaller amount of videos in CapCut on this laptop. And that was one of my main reasons when I was looking for a new laptop back in 2023. I needed a new laptop for my uh, wedding photo business and um, also to edit videos on. And I wanted plenty of uh, storage and a decent amount of RAM. Since I'm a Samsung dude, I wanted a laptop from Samsung, cause Apple is not the only one that has an ecosystem. Quick share, multi-control, second screen, Galaxy Buds, all of that is a part of the Galaxy ecosystem. And when you're used to use these things, there can only be one brand. I must admit that I first wanted the Galaxy Book 3 Pro Ultra, but then I saw the price here in Sweden. For almost half that price, tax included, I could buy the regular Galaxy Book 3 Pro instead. Yes, the Ultra model has a more powerful CPU with more RAM, dedicated GPU, but for my use case, I didn't need that power. If I have to wait a few minutes more when exporting a video, well, I couldn't care less. Same when exporting a few thousands of photos in Lightroom. It might take some more minutes to do on the Galaxy Book 3 Pro compared to the Ultra model, but well, I'm in no hurry. I have all the time in the world, almost at least. I usually work me my Galaxy Book 3 Pro as a desktop computer instead of a laptop. It's connected to my uh, 32 inch Samsung Viewfinity S8 via Thunderbolt. To my right I have the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra connected via multi-control, which can be handy when, for instance, editing videos. I can have the script open on the tablet for easy reference while editing on the laptop. So far I haven't managed to push the laptop to the max feeling I must have more power. As I said, I don't really care that much if an export of a video takes 10 minutes instead of 7 minutes. Perhaps if I did longer videos, like 30 or 40 minutes videos, I might care more cause I had to wait longer for the export. But, well, I don't do longer videos, so... Problem solved. Same in Lightroom, I've never felt editing and exporting thousands of photos takes too long time to do. This laptop is good enough. So that's why I can still recommend buying the Galaxy Book 3 Pro in 2024. It's good enough.
plus the 16 inch 3K screen is amazing. It's big, bright and colorful. I love it. But why don't I give it 10 out of 10 then? Well, the battery life could be better, as with most Intel laptops. Perhaps the new Galaxy Book 3 Pro has some improvements there, I don't know. Time will tell. Then there is the keyboard. The typing experience is flawless, but the placement of the keyboard, well, it's not the best. At least if you are used to not having a numpad on the right side of the keyboard. This numpad shifts the rest of the keyboard to the left. And my muscle memory is used to have the keyboard more in the middle. This is more of a Elans problem, as we say here in Sweden. So it might not be a problem for you. And I can, well, work around it. So, in conclusion, I think this laptop is still valid in 2024. Especially now when there is a huge discount from Samsung. Until next time, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a lovely day. Bye!